guest knows a little something about love and living it out in public. Former Bravo Real Housewife of Atlanta star and model, Cynthia Bailey, recently finalized her second very public divorce from TV host and sports analyst Mike Hill. She has alluded in the press to being ready to mingle and told Harper's Bazaar reporter in a cover story that she's heading into her third act. So what does that act look like? Please welcome back to the TAM fam, someone I adore, Cynthia Bailey. <laughs> I mean, oh. Beyonce is in Renaissance. This is Renaissance. <laughs> oh my God, you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. I read this quote um, that you said to Access Atlanta. I'm pouring all of my love and energy into myself right now. I'm excited about the possibilities of meeting someone at some point mm -hmm. and sharing some of this good love yes. with them. Yes. I like that. What yes. is good love? Uh, good love is just being aligned with the right person. Alignment is very important to me at this point in my life. But just someone that feels right, someone that feels comfortable, someone that feels um, like God sent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you were on the show, I think the last time you were yes. with Mike, you were talking about planning the marriage. Yes. Uh, the challenges of the public eye. Noelle, mm -hmm. I think, was 20. She's 23 now? She's 23 years she's old. She's 23. Now. You were talking about how, you know, it's important for her to see you in your authentic self, but also to protect her. Absolutely. Because so much is public. I think we have the clip. Let's play it. Okay. Is it hard to have these relationships on the reality shows? And is it real? It, I don't think... The re I don't think being <laughs> I don't think being on a reality on show that. makes it easier. Mm -hmm. I think that you know the key is you have to really be connected and you have to have a really solid foundation with who you are with, especially if they're going to be a part of your reality TV journey as well. Mm -hmm. What? So when she asked me to first come on the show. I said, as long as we're in a relationship, I'm not gonna come on the show right. for a storyline or date or anything like that because if I'm mm -hmm. going to be with somebody, it's gonna be real. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Because I don't know how I feel about playing that just now. Um, you know what? I feel fine about it. You know, I live my life in the moment. I go into every relationship super optimistic. I you, always you, think... you can tell, you, you go with your heart. <laughs> no, I, I can jump in. Yeah, I can tell. I jump I in. Tell. I'm a Pisces woman. Oh. Um, I'm a lover of love, which yeah. is why I'm so excited to be a part of this show today yeah, because yeah. it's all about love. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, anything that you do in your life, everything in your life somehow comes back to love. Yeah. So um, I will say, you know, it kind of made me a little sad to just watch that because that was such a, a good time for us. But I think at the end of the day, he was just not my person. Yeah. And I think sometimes, you know, you have to actually go that extra mile like, I don't regret marrying Mike. I don't regret any of it. He was a part of my journey. He was a part of my story. And sometimes when you get in it, it's like, okay, maybe this is not my person. Yeah. But I think what happens in the second, you know, Mike is my second marriage. I was married to Peter Thomas for eight years. So we kind of went through it a lot longer when, when different issues came, came up. But, you know, when you, your first marriage, I, I didn't know how to be married. I didn't know how to be a wife. So I tried to take the lessons of my first marriage into my second marriage. So once I felt like I was able to show up better in the second marriage, just, you know, taking accountability for whatever I did wrong in the first marriage, I just wanted to call it when I felt like if he just wasn't my person. Because I'm 56 years old and I don't have time. I don't have time to be with the person that's not my person. <laughs> <laughs> and you have had such a long <laughs> career in modeling, in, in TV, and it's that that's what you just did there. Yes. You were real. Yes. You really are in a reality show world. <laughs> I don't know how hard it is, but clearly it is. But you are so real. And, and I was seeing the cover of Harper's Bazaar Serbia. Yes. And looking at you, you said your third act. Third act. You're the kind of person I always say, never, ever bet against <laughs> I'm serious. You, you better you not. Don't, don't bet against you. You don't. Thank you. I mean, it's true, whether it's professionally mm -hmm. or in love. And when I saw the headline of the breakup, I was like, don't bet against her. What you said just now, like, 
not my person. It's about finding the person. Absolutely. All of the uh, yeah. men in my life were supposed to happen yeah. to my life. Yeah. I think about, you know, I get asked a lot, you know, will you marry again? And I'm so inclined to say no because it's not really a deal breaker for me at this yeah. point. Was it but ever a deal no, breaker? Because I meet the right person. <laughs> I know myself. We'll be right back at a wedding for Cynthia Bill. <laughs> and that's okay. Was marriage ever a deal breaker? Because again, you don't strike me as someone who said, if you don't put a ring on it, I'm walking out. You know what? I was never actually that person. Yeah. It depends on who I'm with. And when I'm with that person, that's who I'm present with. That's who I'm connected to. And if it feels like, you know what? Why not? Let's get yeah, married. Yeah. I won't not do it, but... I've never been the woman that was like, oh my God, I just can't wait to yeah. get older and get married. Like it just, if that was the case, I actually would have married Noel's dad, Leon. Yeah. And I was pregnant with this child and I still was like, well, you know, do you think, you know, are we just doing this because I'm pregnant? Yeah, yeah. Because I was, you know, we had fun getting pregnant together. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know if it was gonna be forever and forever. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you know, Noel is yeah. the lover of our life. Yeah, you got the love. She's our one and only. She's your one and, and only. And I really, I jumped, when I met Leon, I jumped off the cliff. Okay, and, hold on there. Okay, I'm the, going too we're fast. We're gonna learn, okay? no, 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 <laughs> coming up. What lessons did Cynthia learn from jumping the cliff? <laughs> All the different versions of love. And we're gonna check in on this. It's a day, date night, oh, right behind, Lord. three. Three dates happening right now. Don't get engaged in the commercial break. We'll be right back, <laughs> we'll be right back. Camp fans in the house, the dates are going, mocktails are going down fast, and we're looking at love from all angles and sharing lessons that we can all admit that we've learned at one point or another. Here with us, model, reality TV star, actress, Cynthia Bailey. Okay, I don't want to go through the names of the individuals. <laughs> okay. You can if you want to. No, I don't have to. <laughs> okay. I don't have to. What, what's been a consistent lesson that you've learned? Just to follow my heart. But, no okay, matter where it leads me. When your head is saying no and your heart is saying yes, which one wins? The heart. <laughs> the heart, the heart. Okay, all right. I have to see it through. The heart okay. wants what the heart wants. Like, like I said, I am truly a Pisces woman. I'm always going to go with love and, and what I feel because you don't always feel that feeling with everyone that you meet. So when you do, it's special. Yeah. My love language is personal touch. I want my hand held. I want to come home, and I want you to know without knowing that I just might need a hug. I might need my feet rubbed because I, I do all those things. Like, if, if, my, if my man goes to work, I'm already like, what do you need me to do? I'm already me. I'm literally standing outside on the porch waiting for him to get home. Like, yay, you're home. OK, I have food. You know, can I do this for you? And I want that back. You know, I'm big on reciprocity. And I'm not saying I'm doing it so you can do it back to me. But I, I, I understand. I, you I know, listen, the applause has to be fair. The audience <laughs> understands what you're saying. So you're getting back into the dating game yes. and you recently uh, went out on a date and you're giving the Tam fam an exclusive <laughs> look as you got ready for your date night. Oh my God. Okay, I feel between them and this, I feel real nosy. Let's, <laughs> let's take are. a look. I know you're getting all the Take a look, take a look. <laughs> hey you guys, I'm actually getting ready to go on a date tonight. And I'm excited, but I'm trying not to be like overly excited. I don't want to do too much makeup. But, you know, you want to put a little something on, you know, because you got to make it to the next date. You don't want to just be like, hey, this is it for real. <laughs> I believe that my person is out there. And we're about to find out if this person that I'm having dinner with tonight is my person. I'm down to my finishing touch, my perfume. Woo! If nothing else happens tonight, he's going to say, Miss Bailey, did smell good. Whether it's match or not. So guys, how did I do? Wish me luck. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so Bert, there's so many questions. Yes. You picked a very flattering outfit. I did have to show some body. You showed some? Okay. Because I'm really conservative, but I want it to look sexy, but not like I tried too hard, but right. I, I, you know, you got to lead kind of like, okay, you yeah. may not make to a second date, so you got to <laughs> put it all out there on the first one. So. How did you meet that person you went out on a date with? He slid in my DMs. <laughs> he slid into your, is, yes. he, is he well known? He is. Oh. <laughs> How did it go? Amazing. Amazing? Amazing. <laughs> yes. We had a lot of fun together. Um, you know, he's someone, um, you know, who wants, 
his privacy as well. Yeah, of course. You know, you guys know I do the most when I'm in love, when I'm excited, but I'm really trying something different this time. Yeah. I'm really trying to keep my personal life private, at least until I get the man. <laughs> I love it. Well, I know our, this season has been a season five in numerology. Five represents freedom, yes. curiosity, yes. grace. And you recently hosted your own women's health and wellness yes, retreat. Was it freeing for you to do that? Oh, it was so freeing. At this time in my life, I'm really trying to figure out um, things that, that just bring me peace and make me happy. And I just love women. I love women. You know, at this age, health is a huge priority for me. Um, I just love fellowshipping with my girls, and I was yeah. just sitting on the couch with my girl Danica, and we were just like, you know, Netflixing and you know, eating chips and drinking cocktails, <laughs> and, and we were talking about our hormonal panels, and I was like, is your estrogen low? I just got a testosterone. This is real pellet. girlfriend talk. Like, yeah. This is yeah. like for real. And yeah. I was like, man, we need like a place we could just get with like other boss women and talk about stuff like this. And she was like, you know what? Why don't you just create you a wellness it. retreat? I was like. Okay. Done. That's why I say don't bet against you. You're always thinking of ways. Congratulations on the wellness retreat, on the cover, and the hot date. We'd love you. Come back when you're ready to reveal oh. who was in the deal.